Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to a brand new episode of Cook TV brought to you by www.craftsyouprint.com Today we're going to look at a gorgeous kit from Susan Haynes. It's cup number cup 1063174 underscore 846 The kit is called Sweet Little Hedgehog 8x8 Mini Kit you get three sheets in the kit and it is for an 8 by 8 inch square card. There's lots of decoupage and greetings and it's especially fantastic for anyone that loves hedgehogs and that really includes me. We have regular visitors every night through the summer in our garden and I just love hedgehogs and I do think this is such a cute kit. It would be suitable for male and female and there's so many sentiments in there covering lots of different occasions. So you get three sheets and the first sheet that you get is the full card front with lots of sentiments. The second sheet is the decoupage to build up the card front and this is great for new crafters as well as advanced crafters because even though there's decoupage, sometimes you get lots and lots of decoupage. Well, for this kit, you've got a good amount of decoupage and it's a nice quick card, I think. And it's got such impact with that beautiful little girl, I think it's a girl, on the uh, actual design. So we've got lots of decoupage and we've got some extra sentiments and then we've got the card inserts as well. So the first thing that I'm going to need is my card base. So this is an 8 by 8 inch square card base. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of the small images that's included in the kit that Susan's designed. It's just a little square with the gorgeous little hedgehog on. And I'm going to pop this on the back of the card. I've got flat double sided tape on the back so I'm just going to peel away the back of the tape and I'm going to position it I think towards the bottom in the centre of the card like so and press it down and that will just tie the card together you'll be able to write your name underneath you know uh, made for you by whoever and then that person when they receive the card they will know that you've made it and I'm sure they will keep it forever so we're going to make the insert first, or should I say add the insert. Now I've got a piece of brown cardstock cut just to um, 7.8 by 7.8 inches. And I've got double sided tape on the back. Now I've left the actual square of cardstock full. For no particular reason, I could have been really frugal and I could have cut out the centre and then that way you can use that for other projects and you're not kind of, I won't say wasting it, but you can get double bang for your buck because we're going to cover this over in the centre. So for anyone who wants to be frugal and save that just that little bit of cardstock, take the centre out because we're going to cover it over with the insert. I've cut it out from the kit. Again, I've got double-sided flat tape on the back and I can just peel the back of the tape away and then add the insert to the centre of the card. So if I had cut the centre of the cardstock underneath away, you'd be covering it up now. So I can press that down nice and flat and I'm just going to add one of the sentiments as well that I've cut out again just flat tape on the back of it and I'm going to add it just to the bottom underneath the picture and so it's leaving the centre for you to write on I know it'll be difficult for you to write over that image because she's so pretty but if you want me to write a long message there's enough room in there for you so now we can add the front of the card Again, I've taken a piece of brown cardstock, the same brown that I've used for the insert. And again, if you were wanting to be frugal with it, cut the centre out just to save it for other projects. 
and again on flat tape. Again, I've cut it to roughly 7.8 by 7.8 inches square so that it just leaves a little bit of a border around the edge of my card. And then I can press it down and you can see it just, it's going to highlight the image, it's going to draw the eye in. So it's just a nice way to back the card with a contrasting card color, uh, cardstock colour. So I've got the main card front picture, double sided tape on the back, again flat tape and I'm going to add that to the centre of our card so you can see now how the card stock underneath will draw the eye in just to the design a little bit. Such a pretty hedgehog, I know I'm repeating myself now but she really is. Look how pretty she is, look at her face. So our next layer is the start of the decoupage. So this is the shaped layer that I've cut out. I've got 3D foam on the back of it. And decoupage for any new viewers is simply building the image up to a 3D um, portrayal of the image underneath it. Each layer will be slightly smaller and different shapes maybe. So you cut up, cut away parts of the background and then marry up the design to build it up. So I can press that down. Now the next layer is the hedgehog itself and again I've cut it out and I've got 3D foam on the back. So you simply marry up the design that you've cut out to the layer underneath. And we can do that. Look at those beautiful cherries as well. And believe me, they eat fruit. And when they eat apples that are slightly, um, maybe they've fallen off the tree and they're going off a bit, it makes them all a little bit tiddly because of the sugar in the apple. So there we go. Next, I've got decoupage of the cherry at the front. And that's on 3D foam. So we can simply add that and then another decoupage layer of the cherry that I've just got on 3D foam. So we're building that image up and then to finish the card I've taken one of the sentiments and this says birthday wishes for someone special. Now I'm going to pop it at the top of the card just above the hedgehog because I don't want to cover the hedgehog up. And I'm thinking about there. There we go. So I can press that down. And that is our card finished. You can see the layers that we've built up. The gorgeous sentiment. And then the inside matches perfectly where we say wishing you a very happy birthday. So you can use the sentiment that you want to use with it from the kit because there's a good amount of choice. So it's just such a gorgeous card. Now I'd like to remind you of the cup number and you can see any of Susan's designs by going to Craft Shoe Print and looking for Susan Haynes and it's cup number cup 1063174 underscore 846 and I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.